I welcome back to the uh, next video of the series. Uh, for this video, we're going to be doing a few things like configuring IDs and honeypots. And the first exercise is going to consist of Snort installation. So Snort is a portable intrusion uh, detection system for Windows and Linux operating systems. And this tool is capable of capturing real-time network traffic analysis and performing packet logging on TCIP, TCP IP networks. So first to install Snort, uh, we're just gonna make sure I'm connected. Yep, we'll connect to the correct server. So let's open this and then actually let me do, do this one here. <clears throat> let me open this one up. New tools, hacking tools. All right. Snort 297. Install. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to hit run. Quite a security scan, Jesus Christ. Yes. Agree. Then next. Then let's see, do we want to save it, save it here? Yeah, that's fine. All right. And close. It has been successfully installed. I appreciate that. So we're just going to keep this open and we're going to download the Snort Rules file um, here. So I'm just going to go back up to tools. And then let's see. Let's see tools, sources. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. It's not. Then here. There it is. Actually, hold on a second. Let's see. Local disk. Snort. And there we go. Perfecto. So we save it there, then Internet Explorer. So we'll move on to our next task, which is going to be to test Snort. Um, again, Snort um, can monitor and log traffic in real time with the help of signatures, and it can actually respond to a number of threats. So I'm going to start running the Snort tool. Uh, we're still on the right device. All right, so let's see. I'm going to run this. <clears throat> Yes. All right, then we're going to do CD snort. Might be uh might be case sensitive. Actually no, we're we're good. We're in the right path. All right. Perfect, perfect. So the result of the command just displays two network interfaces. Uh, number one is indicated by the index um, <clears throat> column. So now we're going to use network interface one to list all to list all the traffic. So uh, snort, excuse me, right here. Listen to that one. Then, so now it's in pack and dump mode. So it's going to listen to traffic on the, on the number one network interface uh, from here that we, we've shown. So I'm going to break the uh, previous command with control C. Not sure if I can do that one here. Um, let's see. Quitting. Yeah, I'm going to have to skip that one because I'm using a All right, that's fine. I can fix that. 
All right, so with the command C control, it's supposed to uh, showcase a list of uh, protocol uh, displayed with packet details, but unfortunately, for some reason, it's not working. But usually in production in the enterprise, it'll normally work. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll keep going forward. <clears throat> so we're going to enter in another command here. Um, then do this here. <clears throat> All right, so now we see a, a few things in our, in our new output here. It's gonna continue running as it listens on the select and interface, right? And then um, can't necessarily, so what, what control C does, it breaks the command, right? And then uh, the protocol of packet details are displayed. That's normally what happened, but uh, that's fine. So we're just gonna now run it in the intrusion detection system mode. All right, so we're just gonna put in start. <clears throat> C, C, let's snore it. Southern, uh, snore it. Let's config. Alt C, snore it. Okay. All right, perfect. <clears throat> so now Snort, uh, it reports a fatal error, right? So we need to resolve this to ensure that we're able to run Snort in IDS mode. So I'm just gonna close this out. And now I'm gonna just create a, uh, a folder and rules file in, in, the, in the Snort folder. So I'm just gonna open up File Explorer. Um, then it's gonna navigate to the Snort file. All right, perfect. And then it should be something called dynamic rules here. <clears throat> um. Let's try it again. Should be here. Actually, I know what it would be. Nope. There. <clears throat> I'm looking for the dynamic rules here, but nonetheless, that's fine. So I, I think it should be no here. Just think if it's in a different spot than what I anticipate, but nonetheless, I'll, I'll leave it here. So I'll just create a folder. <clears throat> for smart <clears throat> perfecto <clears throat> all right so just going to click the view menu then options then change folder search options all right then All right, now I'm gonna hide the clear, I'm gonna hide the extensions for the known file types here, all right? And okay, all right, perfect. Now I'm just gonna go back to the, I'm just gonna create two text files here. The rules. All right, so I'm just going to name it to white list rules. <clears throat> okay, then we have our blacklist. 
So actually, I'm going to do another one. All right, perfect. So now the blacklist and the whitelist are now created. And of course the two rules files um, are empty. So navigate back to the regular short file. Then I'm gonna create a folder called the whitelist path. Right, and then let's see. Get back to here. Then I'm going to create a folder called blacklist. All right, and then I'm going to minimize this here. Then we're going to go to our next task, which is now going to be to configure and retest Snort. And the exercise is going to consist of modifying uh, the configuration files and then restarting Snort. Um, I'm sorry, retesting Snort to confirm that it works. So um, on this device, I'm going to start and then Notepad. There it is. Let's get this started. Menu <coughs> opens. All right, then local C. To expand, well, let me expand this. Snort, then accept. Of course, it's going to be a number of files available here. And then, let's see. It is. All right, perfect. Now the file opens, of course, and then I'm going to head to this search menu place and then I'll, we have instances of IPVR and we're going to replace them with VAR. So um, we're going to see find what and then VAR then replace all. Right. So it's going to indicate that um, uh, here 11 occurrences were replaced so and once we figured that out, well, once we confirmed here, then we can click, we can close it out. And then we're going to find, now on the find dialog box, we're going to uh, click in the find one text box here. We're gonna do dynamic processor. <clears throat> uh, directory. All right, so then we're gonna hit forward find. Now I can't find, now usually once the, uh, once this keyword is found, um, it, it will highlight or a selection at the back of the find dialog box. So we're gonna move the find dialog box out of the way so we can see the highlighted section. So let me take a step back here. Okay. So now that we were able to find it, I had to do a few uh, different um, variations of exactly what my input was for it to uh, find what we were looking for, but we finally found it. So I'm just going to change the path located uh, next to it <clears throat> to something a bit different here. I'm just going to do this here, and then one of those. I'm going to do a back slash then X this guy out. 
right? And then we're going to keep this mark. Underscore dynamic processor. Get rid of this for a slash. All right, perfect. I think that got it right. Now I'm just going to click here. Actually, hold on one second. I think I got to change the slash here. There it is. <clears throat> then I'm just going to copy this. Paste. And then found one occurrence right here behind us. All right. Perfect. Now, now that we found it, I'm just going to close this out here. Then I'm going to perform the same editing changes uh, to uh, the lines number 250 and 253. Right. Okay. Thank God for copy and paste, right? All right, perfect. Actually, let's see, that may have been incorrect. 250. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Actually, it needs a little bit. Uh, different, need something a bit different. Let's fix that up here. All right, perfect. So I was able to fix those lines for 250 and 253 for the path to uh, to read correctly. So we're gonna go back to search and then replace, right? And then we're gonna uh, replace, um, let's see, free processor normalize with um, hashtag. Okay. <clears throat> Preprocessor. And we need a not that. Let's see. All right, ran into a bit of a snafu, but I was able to get that hashtag in there. Then we're going to do replace all, <clears throat> and all five occurrences were replaced, so we can close that out. So now we notice that a hashtag. It's now appended to the preprocessor normalized words. So now I'm just going to go back to the search menu and go back to find here. <clears throat> and in the find what dialog box, you want to type in the AR whitelist path. Find next. All right, perfect. Now, as before, we're just going to move this out of the way. And we're going to replace the rules with, let's see, we go here. Actually, make sure. Pretty much going to be the, going to be the same. So, um, smart rules. <clears throat> And then just copy that, paste. We got the copy and paste. All right, and then I'm going to click on the find again, activate it, <clears throat> and then in the find one, I'm just going to put um, money signed. Um, actually, let me do this. And then, see. All right, so now we can take a look here. Now we see the whitelist, 
um, path and the blacklist path as well. All right, and then besides the keywords uh, for for both, we're gonna change these up. Let me scoot this out of the way. Then we're gonna change these rules to, let's see. Uh, let me do that there. We're gonna do a whitelist path. Actually, let me do, well, that was already taken care of, but we're just gonna change this here that we're gonna do. Okay, that one looks good already. And then blacklist path. So we're gonna change this to that guy there. Perfecto. All right, I love what I'm seeing here. All right, so I'm gonna click again on the find box. And then find what? We're going to actually keep a dollar sign. Uh, let's see, roll path. Uh -huh. Four stone still. Then black list. Uh, rules. Perfect, 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 perfect. And then, so it found the keyword, and then of course it makes a selection. And now I'm gonna um, just take a look at, just to make sure it matches up to what we want it to look like. So change it to, let's just really change it to backslash. Everything else is still the same. All right, perfect. Now, since I don't have uh, rule files available for other rules, um, I'll need to comment all of them by adding the hashtag symbol, else I would get an error on each line where snort uh, finds a missing file. Uh, so I'm gonna click the find dialog box and then I'm just gonna close it out. <clears throat> and actually, let me go back to the place and then include, let's see, include, and copy and paste then roll uh, <clears throat> oh <laughs> I should have done that right and then uh we want to do uh one of these here <clears throat> And actually, take it. Perfect, and then replace all, and all one hundred of her. I did a four occurrences were replaced. So now finally going to click the uh, the file menu, then I'm gonna hit save. <clears throat> Perfect. So now it allows us to move on to our next task, uh, which is to rerun the Snort IDS tool. So because we configured the Snort um, uh, file in the earlier uh, task that we've done, we're gonna retry run rerunning it, uh, the tool. So to rerun it, I'm just gonna bring back up the command prompt. Uh, run this admin, of course. Then just re navigate it by um, smart pen. Okay. And then we're going to test the snort configuration with another command. So I'm going to do one of these. <clears throat> um, Step one, then um, 
perfect. All right. So now I get a successful result, of course. And now I'm just going to enter in another command. <clears throat> so let's see. Snort. Uh, let's see. Two things I got to change. Instead of the two, we're going to do a regular pen. Then C. Yeah, that's what threw me off. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, so now the the, um, the snort IDS is now up and running, so I can close the command prompt. Um, and I'll close the command prompt window here. All right, perfect. So now this is the end of the video. So what we've done is a few things. It took us a while to get here, it feels like, but we installed it, we installed snort, we tested it, we configured and retested snort. And I'll see you in the next video.